Hi Aries, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. Also, uh, if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. And for this bi-weekly, I'll be doing a love relationship dynamic focus as we are approaching Valentine's Day. And not because I give a sense of meaning or importance on the day itself, but much more because I believe it's very interesting as an unconscious collective that we are paying massive, huge amounts of energy and attention to the issue of relationships and love. So it's a good time to stop and reflect and question and think and feel about what it is that is going on within our own awareness of uh, certain dynamics of relationships that we may be um, in, uh, engaged with. And if they are simply, uh, in the, by the understanding that they are as well, uh, a simply reflection of our own selves, we can become empowered and liberated by many things, many projections we put out there in terms of relationships. So more than telling you that uh, a new love will come or a relationship will end or you will find your soulmate, I'm much more interested in putting you as an individual in the center of your own life. So again, you can become empowered and feel a sense of willpower within your own self to change whatever dynamics you are not appreciating coming your way and that as well that you are attracting at this time exactly what you are needing to expand and grow and many times this is a very pill a very hard pill to swallow because uh, we tend to avoid and run away from taking responsibility from our own issues so we endlessly in, enter a cycle of projection into others and they as well doing the same to us and so it becomes very difficult to detach and understand things from a very objective point of um, a much more objective point of understanding uh, of us as human beings and psych our own psychology so um, I just wanted to clarify that and my approach is exactly the same that I have been using in the last readings. It's just about uh, indulging in a little bit more of curiosity and changing things as well a little bit um, to see what energies might be um, experienced right now in relationships. So Aries, there's an issue of um, give and take. So there's a sense of some something or someone feeling depleted or more um, feeling that there's a lack, feeling that there's something missing, feeling that there's something that either one of you is not giving or the other one is not receiving in the same fair amount. And probably um, this is happening or you might be feeling this unfairness or this difficulty in getting your relationships in a place of balance getting your relationships in a place of fairness because there's um, a lack of uh, understanding of that if you want balance and if both of you want balance and if two people want to work things out they need to join forces instead of taking them apart so there's a need to join your forces together as a couple or as a friends or whatever type of relationship you are in to bring back that sense of unity, compromise and um, trust to move in the direction of the future, to move in the direction of things um, improving. The thing is also is that maybe there's a situation involved here um, a love triangle or there's more than two people involved and again when we talk about balance we talk about two points so we talk about uh, twos we talk about a partnership that is established between two individuals and they create harmony the two when we bring the third they bring uh, opportunity of growth and birth because it's the union of the two with another another one and they bring a sense of uh, the triangle of things, uh, the birth, things getting uh, to the next level, the twos joining and giving life to the third. So 
the balance right now probably is not happening, either because there's more than two people involved in the same story, or because there's a huge duality inside of you of what it is that you want in relationships right now. It's like you are after two different things. You are after here the water, the emotional, sensitive, uh, dreamy quality of love, the very tender love, and then you have the earth. So uh, the love that is much more practical, grounded, reliable, luxurious, sensual, and strong. So there is this duality in you probably between your own, within your own love nature to understand what it is that you truly want, what it is that you're truly looking for. So you can then, if you are not in a relationship, attract a person or a relationship that, uh, has what it, what you need. It has, it offers you what you are looking for in terms of that deep desires, that unfulfilled desires within yourself. So, in the current position, you do have the Queen of Cups. So, either you are feeling very intuitive, very sensitive, and very emotional at this time, and trying to uncover um, that those emotional um, th that emotional understanding inside of you again of what you are feeling towards someone or towards your need of a relationship. And you are very on your place, you are very withdrawn within your own world, which is full of mystical experiences and mystical creatures, and it's a world on your own. And you are very withdrawn within yourself, trying to understand what you're feeling. And you are all as well very sensitive. So there's a sense that anything at this time can upset you. Anything at this time can hurt you, because there's... A lack of armor here. There's a lack of protection on your energy field that brings you very vulnerable and exposed to your environment. And maybe that itself is what's creating here the challenge, the Six of Pentacles. A difficulty in balance, a difficult in receiving the fair shares of everything. Because maybe you are so sensitive and you are so uh, in another world that when you come back here, and you see things as they are, you get unbalanced because there's a sense of unfair unfairness or a sense of things emotionally not being as uh, what you are looking for. But things physically being there. In the foundation, you have the other queen, the queen of pentacles. So definitely, with the three of wands as well, you're crowning, you see here, a woman between two men. But they are joining forces to the flame. So it's about, again, the birth of something. Sometimes this can be read, again, as um, a love triangle, being between two people. But when we are engaged in love triangles, most of the times it's just because we don't get the duality inside of us. That it feels that when we choose someone and we, we forget about our our other duality, our other needs, we get that person, we are with that person, and sooner or later we get a sense of restlessness because there's something here that is not being expressed, understood, and fulfilled. Then we go here, and here starts, again, screaming and telling why you forget me, why you're not giving me what I want. And so we tend to... Invo be involved with other people, we tend to uh, feel unfulfilled with the relationship we have, or we tend to cheat, or we tend to do things that really is about understanding that duality inside of you. Okay, you have very two different natures, it's okay, but do you understand them? Do you know them? Do you know your nature? Do you know your duality? Do you know your two? Do you know what you're looking for? Even within those two very different realms, the more you dive into this understanding of what you're looking for, and the Queen of uh, Cups is perfect for that because she's very intuitive and psychic. So she will help you dive deep into the waters of understanding of your emotional nature. But once you try to make that effort again, you are using this, uh, this three, this triangle, as a help to you to envision something to plan for something, to advance on something, to create something different, a flame in you 
that unites things, unites differences, instead of projecting them out. So, and in the foundation, having the Queen of Pentacles, again, this is one that is much more about getting her physical needs met. So, her body, her, um, her desires, her sense of being uh, abundant, her abundance, her wealth, her status, her beauty, everything dealing with the physical. So physically, there's a foundation here of you looking for things to fulfill you physically. And physically, you are trying to see what you can do with this duality. And it seems that the more you, you try to do things and the more you try to decide upon things, the less you tend to give them or receive them in the way you expect. So your reading is full of people. Again, I believe that you are uh, in a situation where you are in a need to understand your look at the people involved in your story as characters of your unconscious. So imagine that they are some way a part of yourself. And look at them, look at their traits, look at their characters, look at, look at their personalities and how they express themselves. And look for a part of you that um, is in is in resonance with that with that character. And what does that character mean to you? Where is inside of you that it calls to you in your relationships and your love nature? And then look at the other and do the exact same thing and go into this inner this inner voyage as the Queen of Cups tells you. Withdraw a little bit, but you're not withdrawing. You are just going into the your world. And, and and seeing things and feeling things and, and 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 letting things come to you, so you can get the clarity of what it is that in the near future you want to do and decide upon relationships. Many times the three of wands, when it's not talking about a love a love triangle, it's just about t taking your eyes to the future, taking your eyes to the horizon, and opportunities coming your way. Opportunities of people coming your way, definitely, because as well in the near future you have the Knight of Wands. So you are fire sign. This could be you. After all this reflection and going into your emotional nature and diving deep into your dualities, you dis you understand where you need to take action, where you need to go, where you want to advance, where you need to act in your life and in your relationship dynamic. To bring balance back to your life, to bring balance and feel that things are moving in a healthy way and that you are receiving exactly what you are giving. So as well, it's a good time to reflect and meditate upon if you, what you are giving and what you are receiving is not, um, it's, it's, it's an, a match to, to unconscious, uh, seeds you are planting. So, when you are nervous, when you are conflicted, when you are challenged, when you feel very confused, you are putting seeds of intentions out there. So you will tend to attract relationships that are messy and confusing and with a lot of uh, loose ends. So what you are putting out there, you are attracting with the Six of Pentacles. So the imbalance that is there is in some way in you. That's why you need the Queen of Cups. That's why you need to go to your privacy. You need to go to your inner world. You need to let yourself feel so you can understand what's underneath your actions. And then you take actions back to the future. You take actions to balance. You take actions to what brings you security, which is what the Queen of Pentacles wants, security. This is how you unite the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups, bringing one of them the emotional report bringing the other the security. And so there's a sense that it's a time to reflect, it's a time to um, understand your feelings and then to empower yourself by taking the right actions and the actions in need to restore balance, to restore force, to restore a sense of vision about what, what you have in front of you in terms of love and relationships. So if you are in a relationship, um, things might be a little bit in balance and there's a need there's a need to reflect upon where it is that you and your partner are wanting to go together. If you are not in a relationship, it's simply about again understanding the dualities inside of you and again 
what it is that you are looking for to the future in terms of relationships, what it is that satisfies you, what it is that it's difficult for you to understand about love. And if you are interested in a person and not exactly in a committed relationship, again, a sense of a reflection upon the, the attention that you are giving. If the attention that you are giving to the matter is the same that you are receiving back. And if it's not, why do you think that is happening? There's a sense of questioning, questioning your motives, questioning what it's uh, driving that interest in the other person. Is it love? Is it just a need of attention? Is it just a, sex, a sexual urge? Is, is it just um, a sense of uh, not being able to be alone? What it is. Either way, the more you reflect, the more after it you will act. And you will go after what you're looking for. Because you will feel recharged and ready to bring back something to your life that might have been lacking in terms of love and relationships. So Aries, I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, and subscribing. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.